Hello, hello. One, two, one, two. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Good evening. How are you guys? How's it good going? Evening. Pretty good, teacher. Great, great. Let's wait for the others. How many are we on the chat? We're 17 on the chat. Let's just give him some time. Okay, meanwhile, tell me about yourself, guys. Wendy, Diego. Hello, teacher. Okay, guys, Hello, let, everybody. <laughs> let's start. What can you tell me about yourself? Is this your first online course with Inglés Corporativo? No, teacher. In my case, I start in the intermediate two. Intermediate two? Okay, you started. You started on intermediate two, okay. I see. Can you see my my camera or not? Uh, no, it is off. I don't. I don't know why. Let's see. And I don't. There, you're almost there. Yeah, I don't know why, but it's, it's giving you an error, right? It's giving you an error. Yes. Let me try to check what happened. Okay. okay. Okay, and we're still six. I'm just making some time for, for the others to show up. Okay, here we go. We are seven now with Maria Elena. Okay, so tell me, guys, uh, what have what has been your experience with um with English? Mar uh, Wendy Maribel, tell me, what's there about English that you like? What what is it that you like so much? Repeat the question. What what is it that you love about English? Why are you why are you in love with English? <laughs> uh, no. In my case, um, oh, I, I don't know. I I I don't don't speak very well. Because I, I hope, I hope, uh, uh, I, uh, I will, I will, I will have a uh, good pronunciation. And I understand more. Okay. And express very well. And in my case, it's very important because in my church, 
uh, in my church, uh, Neil translator for for the person for mission. Hmm. I got you. So there's a chance to travel. Mm, yes. Oh, or translator in here. Mm -hmm. In in the country. For other person travel travel to El Salvador. When somebody comes to El Salvador, visit El Salvador. You can communicate. Yes. And if we with other person visit the El Salvador. In, in my work, it's very important. Write, mm. write very, very, very to, well. To write very uh, well, okay. Yeah. For, I am a travel agency and Be I make the form. Because of, you work please. in a travel agency. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So look, look at the chat. Look at your chat. So not only you're concerned about the grammar, but also the pronunciation. So not only you are concerned about the grammar, but also the pronunciation. Oh. This is today's topic. Today's topic is paired conjunctions. Okay, and we will we will see it in context. You will come up with examples once we have understood, you know, the topic. Let me know if if I use words that you don't get. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay. Oh, Umberto, your 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 camera is on. Good. Okay. Yes. I can see it now. Okay, you know what? I have to do the attendance since th 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 that's the first requir requirement. Uh, please turn on your cameras, Nelson, Maria Elena, turn on your camera, Diana. Please turn on your camera. Okay, say here or present, as you may know. Okay, Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Uh, present. Excellent. Claudia Maria Melende Santos. Okay. Cristian Natalie Erazo Rogel. Diana Elizabeth Cerejino Martinez. Cerejino. Cerejino, yeah. thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. I'm here, proof. Thank you. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present. Excellent. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Manuel Antonio Palma. No. Nope. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. So her. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. She's there. Okay. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Hmm. Mario José Valle Castaneda. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Present. Thank you. Norma Carolina Villeda Ávalos. <coughs> Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Present. Excellent. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. No. Ah, there she is. Okay. Hi, Susana. Welcome. <laughs> Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present teacher. Excellent. Bien, será la única vez que me escuchen hablar español. Nah. No, um, no Spanish. ¿Español o inglés? ¿Qué dicen ustedes? English. English, ok. Let's go with English then. <coughs> Sorry, guys. So, well, it's been a long time without teaching, but let's go. Um, so, I'm going to share my screen now. This is day one. And today we have our introduction, ok? So, Let's talk about our course. Want to see you? Okay. So as you all know, 
This is English for work. Okay. We are in the level advanced one. My name is Rafael Antonio Rodriguez Linares. Okay. Here at Inglés Corporativo, they know me as Linares. I don't like it, <laughs> but that's the way they call me, Linares. So if they ask you, who's your teacher? What do you say? Who's your teacher? They're gonna go like, what, what? No, just say, oh, teacher Linares. Like, yeah. I don't know why they, they call me like that. So about me really quick. Um, I have, I didn't finish the career. I have to be honest with you. Foreign affairs, international relations, foreign affairs. I, I reached, I reached the fourth year, but by the time I reached the fourth year at Universidad Francisco Gavidia, um, I also reached my four, my third kid. So when he was born, I mean, when she was born, I said, you know what? Uh, no, 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 let's put a stop on the studies. That was my mistake. But anyways, by that time, um, I, I was already a technician. Uh, in reality, I am a technician um, in, I have a technician, a technical administration of industrial companies. That, that's the technician that I have, this, this one that you see here. And that's basically me, um, this, okay? Now, this is very important and I always emphasize, I always emphasize on my studies because I have kind of knowledge on administration, so this helps. Um, who remembers? Who remembers basic six, basic six, intermediate one? If you were here, do you remember accounting topics? <laughs> do you remember accounting? Yeah. Okay. So, so that that I started accounting a little bit. I started about international relations, about uh, marketing, you know, so all of these topics are related to the program. So I, I love it. I mean, I love this program. It's very important. So continuing, I was certified um, as, I mean, I have the, cap the capacity of teaching other teachers. And, and this was done um, by um, Organización Internacional del Trabajo, the OIT, yeah. Okay, so the, I got that certification with them. It was beautiful, it was wonderful. Um, I know about computers as well. And I have, I have been working for, two, I mean, since 2005, since 2005 on different call centers. How many years is that? How many years is that? It's like 17, right? 18. 17. Oh my God, that's too much. Too long, right? Too much time. Okay, so it's too long. Yeah, it's like 16, 17 years already. And I'm still working. I work at a call center from home, from home, from 5 a.m. to 12.30. And then we have this class at 8, 8 p.m. That's all I'm doing right now. Okay, um, I was a manager at an English academy, not English Corporativo, but I was in, in, in a huge English academy. Uh, for a year, and that was a great experience. There's no major challenge in life than managing people. If you have been a supervisor or a manager, man, it, it's difficult, but at the same time, it's amazing. I mean, you learn, you learn a lot, and that's that's very important. Alguien se ha perdido? No? Are you sure? No. Okay. Okay. No, I had an idea. Okay, so let's go. Let's continue. About this course, the requirements are very simple. You know the requirements. Please type your full name when you connect to this platform. Okay. If you are a listener, in other words, if you were late to subscribe for the course, then put the, the name Oyente before your name. Okay. Now, this is very important, and I'm going to say it in Spanish. I'm sorry. La cámara encendida, por favor. Okay. Todo el tiempo. <laughs> no apaguen la cámara, hombre. Es en serio. Si miren, 
tras que no nos vemos físicamente, eh, no podemos estar interactuando físicamente, lamentablemente, porque yo estoy loco y les digo, las dinámicas que me creo en, la, en los grupos, uh, en clases presenciales, o sea, todo va orientado al aprendizaje, pero es, es tan inter, hiper, hiperactiva la clase, digámoslo así. Y procuro que las clases en línea sean así, pero es más difícil, honestamente. Sin embargo, esto de tener la cámara encendida da un sentido humano a la clase, te permite ver el que está hablando, verle los labios y ya voy a llegar a eso, es muy importante. Ok, otra, y lo voy a decir en español para que quede claro, en nuestro primer día, si va pasando el pan, uy, qué oso, por favor, o llega tu pareja y te dice, mira vos, compraste los huevos, o sea, no vea, <ríe> son cosas que pueden causar una interrupción en la clase de lo, de lo risible que puede ser alguna situación de esas, ¿no? Entonces, para evitar eso, mantenemos el micrófono apagado, la cámara encendida, y si vas a participar, pues ese es el micrófono, ¿sí? Y participas, asegúrate de que no haya ruido, ¿no? Ojo, esta clase la hacen ustedes. Yo ocupo la ley de Pareto, si sabe alguien la ley de Pareto, el 80-20, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo hablo un 20%, el otro 80% lo ponen ustedes. Mi trabajo, básicamente, es escucharlos y corregir, ayudar eh, a que ustedes alcancen su meta de mejorar su pronunciación, mejorar su gramática y cualquier otra área de oportunidad que tengan. No tienen errores, no se frustren, esto, esto es algo común. Al principio todo cuesta, ahora estamos en un nivel avanzado, sí quedan seis módulos, quedan, multipliquen seis por 1.5 y sabrán la cantidad de meses que les faltan para terminar. Ahora, se han arrimado a un buen árbol, como decimos, esta academia, este centro de facilitación de Insafor, eh, es el mejor. Y no lo digo porque yo trabajé en él, he trabajado en todos, prácticamente, los eh, centros de facilitación que, que proveen este servicio de inglés. Ah, ¿Por qué lo digo? Porque en este, y puedo dar fe de ello, es el único que no se atrasa. O sea, ustedes van a notar que en la segunda semana les vamos a estar pidiendo los documentos para inscribirlos al avanzado 2. Ya preguntándoles, ¿por qué? Porque tenemos contados los días y ya sabemos cómo funciona Insafor. Claro, experiencia de ya bastantes años, de hecho, y pues eso nos permite saber qué sigue después y adelantarnos a lo que Insafor pueda solicitar de, una, de, un, de un alumno que se está inscribiendo al programa, así me explico. Entonces, por eso, es importante. Ahora, participación activa, Definitivamente, señores, y eso no solo depende de mí. Si ustedes sienten que la clase está aburrida, me dicen, teacher, ah. claro, hay temas que ya empezaron a ser temas gerenciales, como lo que vamos a empezar a ver en esta clase, en este módulo, ya lo vamos a discutir. So, your attendance has to be 100% on the classes, ¿ok? 100%. Teacher, but I have five kids, I have 10 kids. I don't have time. I have to. Okay, but you made a commitment, right? That's very important. You made a commitment to be here. Uh, so attendance is not just uh, to be here. It's not just to be here and say present. Okay? Because every minute counts. Si lo digo en español, cada minuto cuenta aquí. Se queda grabado en la sesión de Zoom. Insafor nos audita cuántos minutos se han conectado y al final del módulo, oops. Okay, so, uh, voy a hacer acá un paréntesis. Vamos a tomar asistencia al principio, como lo hice, de cada clase cerca de las 8, no más cerca de las 8. Y al final de la clase, las 9.55, 9.57, ok. Uh, a mí me gusta pasar la clase, pasar el listado dos, tres minutos antes de que termine la clase. Y así cada quien, pues ya espera a las 10 y van diciendo adiós. Ok, so. Se tomará como válidas asistencias si escucho decir here, present y está encendida la cámara. ¿Por qué? Porque si es insistencia en la cámara encendida, ante todo, si se está pasando asistencia, tiene que estar encendida su cámara. Porque Insafor audita exactamente ese momento para verle la cara a usted, sacan el DUI y dicen, esta señora no es Wendy, señora rubia o azul es Chele que está tomando la clase, ¿quién es? No es bueno y no se parece el DUI. Uy, ya nos ha pasado que hay gente que dice ser quien no es y toman el curso en nombre de fulano, fulano. ¿Sí me explico? Entonces ellos 
no sé, no les agrada eso. Pero bueno, ese es el punto. Eh, sesiones uno a uno, las vamos a tener, ¿sí? Todos los días eh, yo voy a pedirle a alguien que se quede. En teoría es como obligatorio quedarse. Es una hora adicional. No, mentiras. Son 10 minutos nada más después de la clase y nos vamos a ir rotando. Muy probablemente ustedes tengan la oportunidad de estar unas dos veces durante el módulo, si somos pocos. ¿Ok? Eh, y esto va a servir para evacuar dudas que hayan quedado dentro de la clase anterior, dentro de las clases futuras. ¿verdad? Y eso de permisos no disponibles significa yo no tengo control dentro de su asistencia. Como les decía, quedan grabados los minutos. Aunque yo les diga, sí, hombre, tómese la vacación, no se preocupe. No pasa nada. Tiene una emergencia, chivo. Pero eso no, o sea les quita puntos en, en las asistencias, no quedan los minutos, no suma al final, ¿sí? Eh, espero que, que declaro eso, nada más, está fuera de mi control. Eh, so, homework and evaluations. You must get an 80% in average in all homeworks and evaluations to be able to complete the course at the end of the course. Um, everything is on the platform, okay? The homeworks, everything. And just, just right after, just right after the class, you should complete the next, the next unit. You know, just do the exercises. If you want to start today and do the whole unit one, go ahead, try it. Pueden intentar cuantas veces sea necesario. Si se equivocan la primera vez en algún quiz en la plataforma, inténtelo de nuevo. Uh, me detengo acá un segundo. ¿Alguien no tiene acceso a la plataforma? Alguien que ya haya aprobado y no tiene acceso. Ok. Bien, cualquier cosa nos escriben ahí en el chat. Siempre hay alguien de administración en el chat que, que está de WhatsApp. Eh, si se le bloquea, tarda 24 horas en desbloquearse el, 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 la contraseña. Hello, good evening. Mario José. Ok. Um, so, all homeworks are about the topics that we will see on each class and must be completed before every Friday. Why? Because I have to upload the grades every Friday before midnight. And that's that's a, that's a registry that we send to InsaForp biweekly. So, I mean, every week. And there's a midterm exam. Don't pay attention to the date. No le ponga atención a la fecha. Esto está mal. Pero sí, les voy a comunicar cuál es la fecha. Bueno, nuestra fecha de inicio es el día de hoy y terminamos. ¿Quién se sabe la fecha de finalización? Nobody. Ok. Tuesday the March. 7th. Uh -huh. March. 7th. Oh, 7th. Yeah, March 7th. It's just these modules. Well, from intermediate is five weeks. It's not four weeks, it's five weeks. Okay. So far, so good. Any questions? Any questions? No. Okay, let's move on. Let's finish this. Um, oh, very important. Your um, student's book. The student's book is on the platform and you must download it. Keep it handy, print it, print it if you can, please. It's not big, it's not a big uh, uh, student's book, okay? And, muy importante, no utilizamos material de terceros en ninguna sesión. ¿Por qué? Esta sesión está siendo grabada y se va a subir a Zoom. Solo tienen acceso ustedes. En teoría, solo los que conocen inglés corporativo accesan a la plataforma de YouTube para ver las clases. Durante la clase, yo voy a hacer cosas que les van a forzar prácticamente. Todos mis estudiantes hacen eso y quizás soy el que más reproducciones tiene en sus clases por el hecho de que, por ejemplo, hay una lectura. Pido a alguien o a algunos estudiantes que la lean y luego hago yo, eh, me acerco a la cámara y a, practicamos articulación. Ya vamos a hablar de eso rapidito. Y pues ya quedado grabado en el video para que ustedes vuelvan a ver el video y lo que decía Wendy. Ok, articulo palabra por palabra para poder pronunciar adecuadamente. Entonces, tiene mucho sentido. 
Ok. Bien, súper rápido en cuanto a la herramienta de Zoom. Les decía el botón silencio, la cámara está encendida. Vamos a ocupar mucho el chat y los breakout rooms. Ok. Dentro de un breakout room ustedes pueden buscar la, el botón Ask for Help o hay pedir ayuda y me invocan a mí y yo llego al grupo a ver qué pasa. Ok. So, we are nine now. Wow. Questions, suggestions, ideas, comments. No? Not the chair. Okay. Cool. So, if you haven't watched Elvis, you should watch it. It was amazing moving. Okay, super rápido. Eh, metodología. Yo quiero escuchar de ustedes en primer lugar, pues que se presenten, right, in English. Tell me about yourself. Why are you studying English? What do you want to achieve with your English uh, nowadays? Is it is it still needed? Do you still need English to get a good, a decent job in El Salvador? In my case, teacher, hi, my name is Jorge Vela, and I want to learn English to, to have the opportunity to, to get a, a best position in the, in the work. Maybe I, if I can express my ideas uh, clearly, I, I have to, uh, to be able to, to communicate with with people from other countries that came to to make some works here in El Salvador. Hmm. I'm civil engineer and I work for a, a company, national company. Okay, a national business, a national company, okay. That's it. Okay, and what module did you start it on? I mean, how many modules have you been on English Corporativo? I start here in Intermediate 2. Intermediate 2. Okay, sure. yeah, you mentioned it. I'm sorry. That's good. Great job. Thank you. One applause for Jorge Thank you. Thank you. Great. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Areas of improvement. The verb have. I have, you have, they have, we have, okay. But he, she, it has, he, she, it has, okay. And this is very common in 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 America, in the United in the United States. They they don't care. In the United States, they don't care. Native Americans, they don't care. They say I has. Hmm. Right. So just. Let's correct that. Uh, second, imperatives and comparatives. I, I need to have a better position. Compare, a better position. Now I have the best job. I mean, it's the best job in, in my life, okay? And I, has to be able, I have to be able to communicate. You can use get, get instead of have, guys. I gotta get. I got to get, I gotta get, right? I gotta be able, I gotta be able. Listen, what sounds better? Eso se los ruego. Escúchense cada vez que hablan y pregúntense, en español y en inglés, ¿qué suena mejor? Decir, ¿está bien chivo o qué bonito está eso? <laughs> For example. Most of, most of the time, I forgot the, the words that I want to, to use. I forget. Time. Uh -huh. Pues este ejercicio te va a ayudar realmente, Jorge Humberto, a poder corregir. Les cuento rápido. Desde los siete años aprendí con un diccionario. Yo no fui a ninguna academia ni he salido jamás del Salvador. Soy más indio que ustedes, y eso lo admito. Y, y aprendí con un diccionario. De hecho, le faltaban unas páginas al diccionario y me daba cólera cuando no encontraba una palabra. Pero, eh, pues, fui criado. Eh, yendo a moler maíz y a repartir tortillas, pan francés en la mañana. Ayudaba a mi hermano, que era el que más se, se mandaba en eso, ¿no? Pero la misma necesidad me forzó y, y la verdad es que me gustó esto. Desde que conocí el inglés, para mí fue wow. O sea, 
me abrió la puerta de otro mundo porque hay muchas cosas que no están en español, ¿no? No había mucho internet aún en los noventas. Tengo 41 años desde hace tres días, creo. Ajá, desde hace tres días tengo 41 años. Parezco de 20, yo sé, pero no. Bueno, a ver, sí, dicen todo. <risa> Todavía, wow, yes. Ok, bueno, eh, entonces, es importante, ¿sabes qué hacía yo? Me escuchaba. Hoy ya de, a los 35 empecé a analizar esto. Eh, ¿Por qué yo aprendí solo? O sea, ¿qué hace a una persona? Porque hay varios, hay varias personas que aprenden solos. ¿Por qué? Ah, no, hombre, es que este ya trae para eso. No, 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 no. Eh, ¿Are you married? I'm married, yes. I'm married. And I have three kids and two cats. And I thought that that was the reason that why you look so younger. Ah, no, because you were, I was single. No, I'm not single. But I love, I love my kids. And, and this, this little guy, I'm like, no, you won't see it. No, you cannot see it. He, he's laying on the floor. I have a Hoshki. A Hoshki, he's three years old. And well, anyways, going back, escucharte. Número uno, en español. Vas manejando, vas en el bus. Bueno, en el bus quizás no, ya, pero hablate a ti mismo. Si te han dicho que estás loco que eso es de locos, no, no es de locos, escúchate, escúchate, si decís volado, veavo, ya, si decís la zona, yo vine a San Salvador desde Santa Ana, mis 16 años, diciendo eso, y mi prima, que ya este, el año pasado partió al cielo, me corregía, pa, en la cabeza, la una, yo, ¿qué? Dije la zona, otra vez, sí, la una, ok, la una, y así, te vas a corregir. Pues lo mismo que en inglés. Hace de caso que estás dando una ponencia y empezar a soltar la lengua. Habla de piedras. Habla de, no sé, de, de algún tema que te apasione en inglés. Hace de caso que estás haciendo una ponencia en frente de un público grande. Y créemelo. Si es posible, te grabas y después te corregís tú solo. Vas a decir, uy, ¿qué es eso? ¿Qué dije? No me, yo no me entendí. ¿Ya? Yeah? So that's very important. Very good. Let's move on. Now, who is next? Jorge Humberto, who is next? <laughs> Your microphone. I, I, I know Diana. <laughs> okay, Diana Elizabeth, good. Go ahead. Good evening. Um, well, my name is Diana Chereguino. <laughs> I had a weird last name. Uh, it's supposed to be Italian but only the last name. <laughs> and I am a psychologist. I work in web health, uh, in human resource, in an um, area that is called career path. And I don't know what else I can say about, it, about me. Tell us, uh, I mean, how long have you been learning English? Ah. Yes, I um, started here in the academy in level four, I think, of intermediate. intermediate. And, uh, uh -huh. But I studied English before in Prolingua and in Seniwes, but a long, long time ago. Long, long time ago. Okay. Super good. What do you like the most about English? Diana. <laughs> I really don't like English. <laughs> but really? I have to learn because in my job it is necessary because it is a, a call center bilingual and my position needs to be bilingual too. And sorry, that's my dog barking. Hmm. Okay. But I like music in English. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Okay, give me just a minute. Bien, eh, perdón que dé feedback en inglés, pero quiero que se adapten un poco a la manera en la que vamos a estar trabajando. Eh? So let's repeat together, Diana. Um, okay, look at me a little bit. So you say psychologist, psychologist. Diana, repeat. Psychologist. Better. Uh -huh. Repeat. Started. Started. 
started. Go. Started. Okay, started, started. And one thing that happens on, in, on advanced levels in these courses, on advanced levels, you will see this. What is wrong? Can you help me, guys? Can you help me, Carlos? Who, who is next, Diana? Who is next? Uh, sorry, uh, Wendy. Wendy, okay, Wendy. What is wrong with this sentence? It's a call center bilingual. What is wrong? Can you correct the sentence? It's a call center bilingual. Hmm. Your mic, your microphone. I guess she'll be a bilingual call center. Again, Mario? I guess it will be a bilingual call center. A bilingual call center, yeah. What qualifies a noun? What is an adjective and what is a noun? Great job, Mario Jose. Yeah, that's it. It's a call center. No, it's a bilingual call center. It's a bilingual call center. It's a bilingual call center. And the last one, same thing. Wendy, what is wrong with the last sentence? I like music in English. Repeat. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. Super rápido. Recuerden que un adjetivo califica un nombre, entonces en inglés pasa al revés. El, lo más natural, lo más natural es que traduzcas literal del español al inglés. Yo hacía eso mucho y es normal. Entonces, ¿cómo lo corregimos? Pensad, solo acuérdate de esto. En inglés se, se califica el nombre antes, no después, como en el español. Es un call center bilingüe. Entonces, ese bilingüe va a calificar al nombre. ¿Cuál es el nombre? Ok. Un call center. It's a bilingual call center. Y la segunda lo mismo, ¿no? I like music in English. I like English music. Could be. Ahora, teacher, pero hay una diferencia entre la música inglesa y la música en inglés. ¿Cómo voy a distinguir? Vamos a ver. ¿Cómo distingo entre lo que estoy diciendo? ¿Música inglesa o música en inglés? I like English music. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿England o inglés? Señores, contexto. Hacen el español. Hay un contexto en la conversación y eso dicta de qué estoy hablando. Entonces, esta es la manera de enseñar mía. Ustedes tienen que usar la lógica ¿Ya? Y agarrarle la onda a la conversación. Si ustedes no están poniendo atención o, o se distraen un poco, se van a perder del hilo y van a decir, ¿qué, qué dijo? No entendí, vea, se me fue, no, no, me perdí en el tema. Entonces, todo viene de la lógica, así se lo digo, por pura lógica, ¿sí? Contexto, contexto, ok. So, Wendy Maribel, continue, please, tell us about yourself. Thank you, Dianita. Okay, my name is Wendy Zabaleta and I am I am travel I work in travel agency. I am travel agent travel agent or agent um because I study I no 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 no, no. I I am I am. Um, bachelor, bachelor's degree or mm -hmm. bachelor in business administration. Okay. Uh, that's it. Yes, that. Yes, that. That's it. Okay. Okay, really quick. Help me. Uh, who is next, Wendy? Who continues? Uh, let me see. <laughs> uh, let me see. Let me see. Manuel Palma. 
Manuel Palma, Manuel Antonio, Antonio. <laughs> All right. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Manuel Antonio Palma or Manuel Hormiga Palma? <laughs> <laughs> Es Antonio. Uh, sorry. Okay, yo, so, ya sorry. Lo... <laughs> It's okay. Uh, because I had a, I had a, 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 a problem with the traffic because uh, I I know uh, I went to out of San Salvador and mm. but I'm here now. <laughs> so Thank sorry. God. Thank God you made it. It's terrible. I mean, traffic right now is yeah. like uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, help me, Manuel, Antonio. What can you correct? I work in travel agency. Um, uh, I think uh, the, the I think uh, the correct form or the correct way is uh, I work for a travel agency. A travel agency, yes the how do you call this guy is it an article yeah the articles don't forget the articles okay yes. i work in a travel agency i work for a travel agency very good next yes. manuel antonio i am travel agent agency hmm Ah, all right. Next, next. Um, I, I am in a position job. Uh, and again, job position. All uh, right. Uh -huh. um, I am a, a agent travel. I am a travel agent. That's good. Ben, es bien fácil. A mí me pasa a veces. No se preocupen todavía. I am a travel agent. I am an agent travel. Entre agent y travel. ¿Cuál es el nombre y cuál es el adjetivo? ¿Qué está calificando a qué? ¿Cómo lo sé? Pues agentes pueden haber muchos, ¿no? Agentes aduanales, sí. agentes de viaje, agentes de no sé qué. Ah, pues ya. Yeah. ¿Qué califica? Solo en eso piensen antes de calificar. So I am a travel agent. Seguimos con el artículo, Wendy, como área de oportunidad. Ese artículo. A, ah, A, ah, an, an. Se pone A ah, antes de. Ok. Señores de avanzado. Ah, se pone A ah, antes de. Consonante. Ajá. Y an antes de. Vowel. Vocal. Vowel. Vowel. You got it. Come on. This is basic one. Next, Antonio, I am bachelor in business administration. Uh, uh, I think the. Uh, miss uh, the article again. The article again? Yeah, that's part of it. Okay. That is part of it. Uh, I have a bachelor in business administration. I have a bachelor in business administration. And the last one, just that. What can you say instead of just that? Only that. That's all. That's all. Yeah, perfect. What else, guys? When you finish that's speaking, it. that's it. That's it. That's it. Um, Ojo, that's it. That's it. That's it. It. That's it. Okay. Are we learning? Yeah. Okay. So it's not that's it. No, that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Good job. Just a minute. Okay, so that's it. Who is next? Okay, Ma Manuel Antonio, go ahead. Tell me about yourself. Tell us about yourself. Okay. Um, my name is uh, Manuel Antonio Palma. Uh, I work for Deloitte Salvador. Uh, is a Deloitte is a uh, professional service office in Salvador in Central America. And, um, I, 
I work for 30, 30 years and my position is uh, for a member department and I like uh, listening to music. Uh, always uh, I trying to I try to listen in in English in English because um, I I need to improve. Uh, that's why I I am uh, learning in this in this uh, level. <laughs> in this course, very good. Yes, that's it. That's it. Good. Okay. Who is next, Manuel Antonio? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, I don't know, Diego Armando Lopez. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, Diego, help me. I work for 30 years in this company. Mm, I don't know. I've been working for 10 years. That's present perfect. Very good. I have very professional. I have been working. That's present perfect continuous. I've been working for 30 years in this company. Okay, good job. Next. My position is for uh, department. Um, How can you say that? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't know. My position is for a depth. I, I, I don't know what, what do you say with this? Ooh, what do you say? Uh-huh. Guys, help. How can you say mi posición es tal y tal cosa? No, okay. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Yes. Uh, also, uh, I can say uh, I am in charge of. I'm in charge of da, 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 the laundry. I'm in charge of the inventory. I'm in charge of the purchasing department. I'm in charge of the accounting department. I'm an accountant. I'm an accountant. You can say your profession. Okay. Um, a supervisor. I'm a um, production line worker. Or I work as a teacher for example in my case i work as a teacher i work as a doctor okay i'm a doctor that's it okay uh let's see next i like listen to music I like to, I like to listen music hmm. i like to listen to music uh -huh, i like to listen to music Mm -hmm. My infinitive to listen. Yeah, I like to listen music. Mm. El error común es este. Cuando después de un verbo tenés que separar, ¿ok? Si lo que sigue no es un verbo, pues no pones la preposición. Si lo que sigue es un verbo, pones la preposición tú. I like to listen to music. Muchos evitan este problema poniendo I like listening to music. I like listening to music. I like to listen to music. Hey, you say in English, I like to listen to music. Ojo, si es hobby escuchar música, se dice con ING, I like listening to music. Si no es un hobby, I like to listen to music. Okay, so let's go with Diego Armando. Hi, good evening, everyone. I'm, I'm Diego. I have 27 years old, I'm in general industrial, sorry, industrial engineering, and I work in the logistic world, like uh, forwarding, 
and I had the opportunity to be a uh, team of leave to Dominican, from Dominican Republic. And I like so much the English and in the same way, I need to learn more because in, in this, in my case, it's very necessary because um, I work with people of Sri Lanka, Canada, USA and different um, country around the world and if necessary because I I told in in some opportunity with career airline and many people I need to change some document for a different warehouse oh, is is a it's a crazy world it's a cow but I like it and I need English I need to practice more and I have been um, learning English, but uh, I know that the, the, the way is, is not correct because uh, it's autodidact for me. And it's a pleasure to be here and to know you and to, to share this time with all of you. That's it. Is that it? That is, yes. OK. O una cosa, acuérdense que cuando se hace una pregunta, yo acabo de cometer ese error, ¿oyeron? Y es bien común equivocarse en esto, decir, that's it? Esa no es una pregunta. That's it? No. Is that it? El verbo to be bien al principio. Is that it? Is that it? That's it? No. Is that it? That's it. OK. Good job. Who is next? Mm, one, two, three, four. Nelson Olmedo. Okay. <laughs> Nelson. Hello. Sos el segundo Nelson que tengo en clases. Bueno, he tenido varios, pero tengo en mi mente a alguien que hasta en el Facebook tengo desde que estaba en básico uno. <laughs> y la y solo solo, solo sacaba su frente la referencia <laughs> siempre. <laughs> so don't do it, please. Ok, Nelson. Ahora sí te vemos de la nariz para arriba. Don't worry. Okay. Por la That's good. Ahí estamos. Ok, Nelson. Whenever you're ready, help me. Help me here. I don't know what do you say. Hmm. No sé cómo se dice. Help me. What's wrong with that sentence? I don't know how to say that. Excellent. I don't know how to say that. Now, repeat, guys. I don't. I don't. I don't remember Moses, Moses and Aaron. So I don't, I don't, I don't know. Repeat, I don't know. <laughs> Sounds better, right? I don't know, man. Okay, I don't know how to say that. Okay, next. I have 27 years old. I am 27 years old. Excellent. I'm 27 years old. Don't forget it. La edad siempre se dice con el verbo to be. She is. My daughter is. Uh, my son is. They are 10 years old, etc. Okay. I am industrial engineer. Oh, that's just a correction. That's my correction. I'm sorry. I'm industrial engineer. I'm an. The article. I'm an, I'm an industrial. Ama, 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 ama. Don't forget that, guys. Ama, ama, ama. I'm an industrial. I'm an industrial. I'm an industrial engineer. Ese es un ejercicio. Empezas. Am, 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 industrial. I'm an industrial. I'm an industrial engineer. Yeah, it's like a tongue twister. It's gonna help you with the pronunciation. Okay, next, Nelson. I like so much the English. Yeah, I like English so much. Perfect. I really love English. ¿Por qué no dijiste the o the English? Eh, eh, please, please, please tell me, you know. Because, Decime que sabes. Eh, you don't uh -huh. have to eh, add the article to that word. There you go. That's my guy. Un error común en los avanzados, y esto se los digo ya siete años dando clases de avanzado intermedio, es eso, el artículo. Lo digo en español para que quede claro, aunque siempre yeah, sigue, sigue ocurriendo, sé que lo vamos a corregir. El artículo the es cuando soy muy específico y, por ejemplo, the English that you speak. I like the English that you speak. 
I like the English that you speak very much. So much. Ese es so much para el final. Entonces, the English. No puedo solo decir the English. Tengo que decir más específico. I like, aquí hay una excepción. I like the reggae music. ¿Será específico o en general? I think it's, it's very specific. The hmm. kind of. Actually, yeah. reggae music is. So, I like the reggae music that your band plays. That's even more specific. Mm. It's the same. I like the ants. Mm. I like the ants? No, I like ants. Mm. En general. En eso necesito que empecemos a atacarlo todos. Estoy generalizando, no necesito el artículo. Okay? I like the ants of your garden. Me gustan las hormigas de tu jardín. It's weird. Okay. I like English. Okay, next, pronunciation. How do you pronounce that word, Nelson? Cows in English. Cows. <laughs> Cows. Uh -huh. hmm. Repeat, repeat. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Come on, guys. Don't be shy. Don't just say, it. I don't know. Okay, you say chaos, chaos, chaos. Esta I es bien corta, chaos. Chaos, 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 chaos. Man, it's chaos. Out there is chaos, teacher. It's crazy. Autodidact. Nelson, how do you say autodidacta in English? I don't know. You don't know? Perfect. Self Anybody else? Learning. What? Close, close. Uh huh. Self learning. Self learning. But as a person, you are a self learner. I'm a self learner. Okay, good job. Hey, great job, Nelson. Tell us, tell us about yourself. Okay, uh, my name is Nelson Olmedo. I'm 32 years old. Um, right now, I'm working at Avianca. I'm leading a, a team of eight people. Uh, we are in a migration project with Managua, and I'm in charge of uh, every single aspect of every people that comes to or wanna go to visit Nicaragua. We have to 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 take all the personal information of those uh, passengers, and we have to make a certain report and send it to the government and that's it uh, I, I i i've been working there for maybe two years now uh, two years from now and i really like learning english or uh, i have several years uh, learning english but i'm not constant I used to work at Sykes uh, in the PlayStation account, uh, but that was a few years ago. So I'm taking uh, again my classes to try to uh, reach some better job position in that company because I really want to make or build a career there. And that's it. Perfect. Perfect. Man, you have some very good words. For example, the word certain, the word few. I mean, it was good. That you have very decent, very decent English. It's just pronunciation, some words maybe. Let me help you, okay? You say migration. I'm working on a migration program project. I'm working on a migration project. Okay. Migration. Uh, migration project. People that comes. Mm, People that come, people, plural, they come, mm -hmm. okay? So send to the government, we have to send to the government. Oh, send it, you said we have to send some reports to the government. So we're talking about plurals, you can replace with them, them, with the object. We have to send them to the government, yep. And the word build, 
build. I want to build a career here. I want to build a career, build a career here. Okay, great job. Good job. Okay, who is next? Um, I don't know if Manuel Antonio, uh, yes. He, he, he yeah, he, okay, so let me help you. We are missing Silvia Suleima. We okay. are missing okay. Mario Jose. Really? Okay. Okay. Silvia, ready, go. Hi, good evening. Um, in my case, I I work as a, a lawyer for a financial company. I've been working for 11 years in this company. And when I child, I I wish I I was wish to learn English because I like it. Hmm. Okay, very good. Um how long have you been here in English Corporativo? Uh, for um, basic uh level one okay excellent okay let me help you i'm gonna move on guys so pronunciation somebody okay somebody somewhere Pronun pronunciation cuidado no es pronunciation guys pronunciation y esto es un sonido nasal si te agarras la nariz Intentas hacerlo, agárrate la nariz, intenta decir la palabra niño. En serio, agárrate la nariz, intenta decir niño. ¿Dónde quedó la ñ, verdad? Ok, intenta decir nine, nine. Entonces, eso lo hago, lo hago con el sentido de que tú sintas acá en la fosa nasal. Esa sensación la tenés que tener con ciertas palabras, como esa, eh, pronen pronunciation, pronunciation, pronunciation. Otra palabra mal pronunciada y todos lo hacemos, hasta yo lo hago sin sentirlo, this is mountain, ok, mountain, no, mountain, hoy mountain, queda acá, mountain, corten, corten, cortens, cortens, mountains, ok, and so on, ¿no? así, son cosas que vamos a ir aprendiendo. Let's see, uh, so financial, 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 financial. Mm. Fi, financial. Ok. Next. Aquí necesito que todos hagan fuerza. Years. Acuérdense de mi cara. Years. Years. Ok. I was years old. When I child, I wish, when I was a child. A ver, no voy a decir wish. O oh, sí. Huh. ¿Será? Marilena, no, voy a ocupar, si voy a ocupar wish, voy a decir I used to wish. When I was a child, I used to wish. Yo solía desear, ¿oí? Ajá, uh -huh. I used to wish. Ahora, ¿qué puedo ocupar aquí entonces? I wanted to. I wanted to, ¿qué es eso? I wanted to. I wanted to. ¿Ok? Ojo, ¿eh? Wanted to. Vas a decir wanted to. Wanted to. Wanted to. When I was a child, I wanted to learn to speak English. When I was a child, I wanted to learn English. When I was a child, I wanted to learn English. Sounds better, right? Suena mejor. Bien, yo le voy a hacer mucho énfasis en el hecho de que la T y la D entre dos vocales va a sonar a R. ¿Ok? Cuando ocurra eso. Y lo vamos a ir viendo poco a poco. So, uh, learn. For basic level one, um, I'm, I have been with English corporate, English Corporativo since, since basic level one. Since basic level one instead of four. Esa es la preposición adecuada. Good job, Silvia. Who is next? Um, María Elena. Of course. <laughs> Ojo, oh, of course. No digan of course porque dirían por maldición. Eso quiere decir of course. Maldición, no. Of course. 
course. Good. Marilena, your turn. Hi, good evening. Mm, my name is Maria Elena Guadalupe <laughs> I am uh, 41 years old and I am working work in uh, ENGO um, as a nutritionist. And I always like the language um, English. And I like gossip and I don't understand when some people speak and it's for frustrating for me um for this I uh, understand yeah, I'm learning English I'm sorry you don't like when someone speaks someone speaks fast when someone somebody when somebody speaks fast you don't like it Cuando so, alguien habla rápido, no le gusta que le hablen rápido en inglés. I'm trying to understand. No. When the two people is speaking in English, I don't understand. Mm. And I am like the gossip. I, like, I, I need to know who is the, uh, speaking. <laughs> you like the gossip. You like the gossip. <laughs> The gossip. El chambre. Okay. That's good. That's a good one. That's frustrating. That's frustrating. Yeah, frustrating. What's the gossip? Frustrating. I just remembered La Bicha Chambrosa. Gossip girl. Gossip girl. Gossip girl. Te aseguro que creciste viendo esa cosa y no sabías que querías ser gossip girl. Muchos están ahorita con, ah, con razón. Okay. Okay, good job. What else? Uh, how long have you been studying English? How long have you been studying English, Marilena? Um, when in the, I don't know, two years in English corporativo. Okay. Uh, more or less. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't remember how do you say bachillerato. Bachelor. Bachelor. In bachelor. During. Two. During the bachelor. Okay. Okay. Good job. So let's see. You didn't find a way to say ONG, right? In English. Is, is it NGO? Yeah, that's NGO. Non -govern government, non government organization. Just, just turn it into English. Non government organization. Non -govern governmental. No, non non government organization. That's the way. Okay. The language. I like the language English. I like English. I like the English language. I like the English language. Okay. Cuando soy específico y digo. I like the color red. Okay. I like the red color. Mm. Necesito decir color? No, right? I like red. That's it. I like red. Y de nuevo, contexto o no contexto? Right? Just think about it. Good job. Who is next? Maria Elena. Uh, let me see. I don't know. Help. We're missing. We're missing Carlos, Mario Jose, Susana. Uh, Carlos, Palomo. Okay. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Carlos Palomo. I'm 35 years old. Um, I am a, an accountant. I work um, for a delivery company. Um, it's called Urbano Now. Um, I have I have been working there for one year. Um, I want to to improve my 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 English knowledge because I want to to get a new job. Uh, maybe uh, for a company uh, 
which could be located in the United States because um, I have I have seen a lot of a lot of um, a lot of jobs uh, in the in the internet that uh, those companies needs um, accountants uh, in uh, working in, in in at home uh, like remote work. Um, I want to work in my in my house. Um, I don't know. Um, I I live with uh, my my wife. I had two sons. Um, that's it. Well, you're doing the right thing. You are on the right path. You are on the right path. Pasa en el buen camino to achieve that. ¿Alguna vez aplicado para una posición en inglés de, de contador? Uh, yes, I applied uh, for a, a, at, at the beginning of the year, I applied for one position, but uh, I had a, an interview in English and he told me that I, I need to, to learn more or to practice more. Yes. That's odd. That's odd. Because I mean, uh, we, we need somebody actually. <laughs> okay, but that, that's good. That's good. Por qué no dijo that? That's weird. That, that's weird. Por qué no dijo that's weird, teacher? I mean, me gusta mejor decir that's odd. Odd. It's like unusual. Ahora eso es inglés viejo. Eh? Los americanos se, se extrañan cuando me ven decir that's odd. Le da como risita. Yeah, that, that's odd. Y me lo repiten, porque casi nadie ocupa esa palabra. Odd, weird, rare, unusual, unusual, sinónimos. Ojo, eh. Ok. I work for a delivery company. Very good. For one year. Sounds better for a year. I have worked for this company for a year. For a year. Those companies need, ok, not needs. Those companies need, singular, accountants okay great job hey hopefully yeah thank you will make it you will make it i'm hoping to help you guys to improve your pronunciation the first step is to gain conf confidence gain confidence uh chinese chinese people they say they prefer they prefer a self-confident person than a competent person so if you have three degrees, you know, at the university, but you are not confident of your knowledge, mm -mm. they say, no, 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 thank you. You see? Okay. So think about it. Who is next? Carlos. We're missing Susana, Beatriz, Mario, Jose. And that's it. Mario, Jose. Okay. Hey, thank you. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Mario Jose Valle. I'm uh, 38 years old. Um, I'm working. I'm a chief's agent. I'm working in a chief's agency. Uh, I've been working there in about 11 years. Uh, I am here studying English because I want to improve my English, my knowledge. Actually, I like the language, not only the English. I have the opportunity to uh, speak with uh, people from other countries, I usually speak in English, but or, or, actually I only speak in English with them, but I would like to, to learn another language like uh, French, Greek, that are- And that's because, the, that's because you need it at work, Greek? Mm -hmm. I actually I, I need uh, only the English 
but I I would like to to learn the French. Uh -huh. I don't know. I, I love the the language, and I would like to speak with uh with some Greek people. Uh, I would like to. Have you to, heard to speak? Have you heard Greek? Yeah. And you like it? Yeah. That's that's I, interesting. I have, I have some I have some friends that uh they speak Greek. Wow. Uh, I know that a few words like uh, good afternoon, uh, good, uh, good morning, something like that. But it's a uh, Calimera is a uh, good morning, uh, mm -hmm. Calispera is a uh, good afternoon, and Calinista is a uh, kind of uh, it's kind of good night is when <laughs> you are going. To... Good evening. No, it, it, it's like a good night. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I like some, I, I like the language. I like the French. Uh, language is awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah really uh, also, uh, I have the, the opportunity to, and actually, I have a spin, or not a spin. I'm wasting, I have wasted my, my time working there because. Uh, 11 years working in the same company, uh, having the opportunity to speak with the uh, Philippines people, with Indian, Russian, Ukrainian. Uh, I, I I guess that I, I will yeah. have knowledge of uh, another few language, but I I guess the problem with uh, me is that uh, you was mentioning is the, the self confidence. You were mentioning, uh huh, self confidence. You yeah. are missing courage. You need courage, courage, <laughs> believing yourself. Yeah. True, and and uh, don't worry, don't worry. You'll get there. You'll get there. But th th that's you're taking the first step. I mean, speaking English is all. It takes. It's all it takes. Uh, great. I love languages too, but some some of them, for example, someone from Holland. I spoke with someone from Holland once. I mean, I'm like, what? <laughs> nothing to do. It has nothing to do with English. It's horrible. Uh, uh, I guess also the, the German. I uh, love German. <laughs> I love German so much I, I, that I have a Volkswagen 1978. <laughs> I have a, 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 a I have a speak with people that speak German, but I I I have heard when they speak German, mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, kind of hard to to it's good, because it's good at all. You have to speak with your with your um oh my god with your throat. Yeah. Uh, it's, but mm -hmm. I like the language, so, but first of all, I want to uh, improve my English because uh, I want to uh, get another job maybe in another company because in the company that uh, I am, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a quite a small, it's, it, there is no, no much no, opportunity to no much to grow growing up. growing opportunities, not yeah. too many, not too many, not too many growing the, opportunities. The company is a it's a really good company. I mm -hmm. like the company. I like the uh, what I'm doing. The company is the the marketing industry. I like the marketing industry, uh, but it's the the company doesn't uh, give. Any chance to to grow any chances, up? Any chances? Awesome! Nice to meet you, Mario Jose. Great job. At the beginning, you were saying 38, 30, 30, 30, 38. Yeah, be careful with the number three, guys. 30, 30, 33, 33, 333. Your tongue comes a little bit out. Sales agent, you said right? Sales agent? Uh, no, uh, shipping agent. Shipping, shipping agent. 
Okay, you're a shipping agent. Okay, I have spoken, present perfect. I have spoken with Germans. You doubt it. You hesitated there, like I have speak. No, I have spoken. Okay, good job. And we're only missing one girl, I think, right? Susana Beatriz. Am I right? Yep. Okay. But she, her camera. Oh, there she comes. Sorry, teacher. Oh, there she comes. I'm here. Okay. Hi. Hi, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Susan Ortiz. I am accounting and I work in Meliora SADSV. Uh, it's a company, your service, the aircraft, uh, repair, uh, repair uh, aircraft. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. But it's a um, I supervisor in accounting. Um. My I learn I learn English, but um. Uh, but my work. Uh, is the important. Um. Um. I don't know. Uh, maybe I I learning, but it's a. Uh, I think I think I good. I good like. I good like uh, to travel in in other in other country, <laughs> um, but it's a uh, a live. It's a uh, specific. It's a, I choose, I choose a, the a new, a good, good life. Is this a prefer is a Canada? Mm -hmm. um, oh, in United States. Okay. Getting there. <laughs> You're getting there. You will get there with English and that, that's really good. Uh, let's see. Tenemos que un poco las oraciones. Vamos a ver. I'm, I am accounting. I'm an accountant. Remember, I'm an, I am. I'm, an, I'm an accountant. I'm an accountant. I'm an accountant. I'm an accountant. It's a company. Aquí, it's a, it's a conjunction. Lo vamos a ver luego. Um, it's a company that repairs aircrafts. It's a company that repairs aircrafts. Um, I learning. Oh, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning English, but my work, um, okay, because it's important for my job. I'm learning English because it is important for my job. I would like to travel in another country, in another country. I would like to travel to another country. And for everybody, other, plurals, another, Singulars, okay? So let's go, if I want to say, vamos a otro tema. Movámonos a otro tema. Can you translate? Switch to another topic. Let's okay. move to a different topic. Let's move to a different topic. Let's move to another, another, right? Topic. Um, Y si fuese en temas, sería, let's move to other topics, to other matters, to other topics. Okay, so really quick, I want to show you what you can expect on this module, and then we will move on to the grammar, today's grammar, uh, because we will see a little introduction to um, the grammar that we have to study. Um, where are you guys? Here you are. So. Number one, continuing professional development. This was told by Mario Jose Valle. Continuing professional development in a few words. Companies should care about employees growing, growing inside the company, but also outside the company. Okay, we will see this topic in context, how this could happen, right? Uh, how could a company support their employees? For example, asking them, hey, Maria Jose, what do you want to be? Oh, I want to be a doctor. Okay, so we will help you. We will give you 
a scholarship, okay, a 50% scholarship, so you can study to become a doctor in five, eight years. And meanwhile, of course, you will be working here. Okay, okay, that's good. That's continuing developing uh, professional development. And this is very tied or goes together to training the workforce. Do you need training at your job? Have you ever asked for training in your job? Okay. And, and that's that's about it. Identify training needs, discuss how to ask for training. Okay. What are the essentials? And why is it important for employers to invest on training their workforce? So let's see. Oh, <laughs> we're going to talk about leading millennials. If you consider a millennial yourself, you're gonna love this topic. I love this topic. I like creating discussion in the class, okay? Because for example, me, I, I tend to say, I tend to say, I like to say that I am from the Gen X, the Generation X, you know, Nirvana, Metallica, because I, I grew up, I grew up listening to rock. I love rock. I love, my favorite band is Pearl Jam, but also Journey. If you know Journey, then you're in my team, okay? Journey and et cetera, ACDC, anyways. So being a millennial, um, nowadays we have the ninnies, right? The the baby boomers. No, wait, what is it latest? What's the latest generation? The Xennials, right? The Xennials. So your sons, your daughters, I mean, they're Xennials. They don't want to work. They don't want to work. No, no, no. I don't want to grow up. So, and we will continue with that, the generation gap at the workforce. So how, how do you fight? What do you understand by gap? Somebody, what is a gap? It's like a, a space between one thing to another. Excellent. It's an empty space. Great job. Nelson. Yeah, it's the space. Can you imagine? I mean, I went to the university in 2010. Imagine this. I graduated in 2002, let's say 2001, from a bachelor's degree. And then I waited. I took the technical career. I graduated from the technical career in 2004, 2005, 2005. And then I waited to go to the university on 2010. Man, when I got there, there were just babies in the classroom and I was like the oldest guy in the classroom. There was a big gap, <laughs> a knowledge gap. So let's move on, grammar. Today we have to talk about pair conjunctions. What are pair conjunctions? This is very simple grammar. Have you heard conjunctions? What do you understand by conjunctions? A, a, a synonym? Give me a synonym for conjunctions. Moreover. What? Moreover. Moreover. Oh, wait. Uh -huh. But that's an example. What is a synonym of conjunction? Mm. No? Connectors. Yeah, the <laughs> connectors. You, have you heard the word connectors in grammar? Connectors linking words some some old teachers call them linking words now give me examples now give me examples moreover uh-huh furthermore furthermore the same way uh, uh, come again come again Diego. The, same, the same way the same way uh-huh instead of instead of okay that's it. Creativity, creativity. <laughs> yeah, then you have mm, not only, but also both or both and. Okay. Also. Yeah, also and. 
if if um, if is not a connector it's a con conditional although. besides although even though then uh -huh. then you got it uh-huh after that before <laughs> there's a lot of connectors i will send you a a chart okay i'll send you a chart after the class oh eh, las presentaciones que yo voy a ocupar se las voy a estar enviando en el chat en whatsapp después de la clase igual al final cuando yo termino de subir el video siempre envío el link al chat de whatsapp okay so if you're taking notes don't worry don't worry don't take notes just participate in the class so topics um we will have cpd continues um what was it cpd i don't know continuous professional development continuous professional development just stick it stick it to your head continuous professional development the power of small wins a sample of poor training versus proper training and and i'm sorry a, a sample of poor poor training is not poor is poor poor training versus proper training and the organizational impact podcast hr personal and promotion of corporate no continuous development programs Continuous development programs, that's the word. Okay, so reading, we will see some articles. I don't know if in intermediate six, you read some, but here in advance, you have to read articles, watch videos. We have to understand the topic and you have to yes. come up come yes. up with expositions. Go ahead, Jorge. Yes, we did. Uh, you read? to listen and watch videos. Mm -hmm. But we're not gonna stay with, oh yeah, let's watch the video, okay. And then, okay, did you like it? Okay, let's move on to the next topic. No, 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 no. You have to prepare a discussion, an exposition. I mean, we will be very creative in that sense, you know, like having um, dynamics, having dynamics, okay, to help you be, motivated the whole class and then on writing we may see this a little bit how to avoid comma splices how to avoid sentence fragment how to avoid run-on sentences when you speak uh, this is all more like professional because we're in advance so you have to learn how to write how to speak okay and listening as well and we will move on we have per conjunctions more per conjunctions neither nor okay either or whether or and so on and then we will have our main topic which is talking about millennials seniors the different generations and their gaps okay so far so good any questions you may have what do you expect about the class think about it for 10 seconds i give you 10 seconds if you have any questions i need two questions if not i don't move i will not move i need two questions from you okay Give me just 10 seconds. Okay, sorry. So, two questions. Mm -hmm. question about what anything live if you want but just make me two questions i'm talking too much we have talked a lot what do you expect from the class i don't know just make me two questions mm -hmm. any recommendations that you need i don't know this is the opportunity for you to tell me, teacher, don't do this. I didn't like this from another class. Don't say what class, okay? Just say another class. I don't want to see this in the class, okay? You're the clients, so tell me what, I don't know, tell me.
<ríe> ok. Bien, no se preocupen. Los estoy probando, pero esto me deja ver una de dos cosas. Lo más común, tengo adultos, todos vienen cansados de trabajar. Bien, ¿qué tienes que hacer cuando estás cansado en una conferencia, en una clase, lo que sea? Incomodate, sentate mal. No te quiero ver así. Porque te va a dar la hora nalga. ¿Sí? Tarea número uno de hoy. Si no te lo han dejado, espero que nadie lo haya hecho. No creo que alguien lo haya hecho. Soy el único loco que lo hace el primer día de clase. Te vas a ir a YouTube y vas a encontrar un video que se llama Es posible lo imposible, Omar Villalobos. Es posible lo imposible de Omar Villalobos. Dura 19 minutos y tenés a alguien a quien querés motivar a que se supere en su vida pues lo llamas o la llamas al cuarto, le pones eso en un proyector o en una tele y le decís, vamos a hacer de caso que estamos en la conferencia, abusa, son 19 minutos, si el tipo dice sacar la lengua, que de hecho lo hace, sacar la lengua de la par, se la sacas, ok. ¿Sí? Es posible lo imposible. Omar Villalobos, 19 minutos. Míralo. Claro, aquí no, no te puedo exigir nada, esto es un curso de profesional, pero esto te va a ayudar para toda la vida si no lo has visto, si te metes, si te sumergís en esa conferencia y te crees lo que él dice, lo vas a poder aplicar en... TED el... Talks. Ajá, TED Talks. TED Talks, muy bien. Eh, mira mucho TED Talks en inglés, busca temas de neurolingüística, eso va a ayudar mucho también si te gustan ese tipo de cosas. Ok. Repeat, eh, repeat la, the conference. Es posible lo imposible. Es posible. Es posible lo imposible. ¿De qué? Omar Villalobos. Thank you. Se haciendo la publicidad, me va a bloquear el video de YouTube. Pero voy a procurar evitar eso. Es muy importante. Ahora, eso es motivación, créanme, le va a ayudar mucho. Eh, por esto me regañan a veces porque me salgo un poco del contexto, pero créanme, yo también soy adulto, como decía por ahí, tengo hijos y sé lo difícil que es venir a clase. Pero también sé por experiencia propia que a veces no me creo esto ni yo mismo, ¿eh? Cuesta, ¿eh? Cuesta. Pero si te lo llegas a creer, tú ayudas a cambiar. Te lo digo por experiencia, eso sí, ya lo he hecho, aunque lo he hecho de malas ganas a veces, he logrado alcanzar muchas metas en mi vida debido a que me he forzado a hacer lo que tengo que hacer cuando lo tengo que hacer aunque no lo quiera hacer otra vez hago lo que tengo que hacer cuando lo tengo que hacer aunque no lo quiera hacer ¿Sí? ¿qué es eso? hacer planchas de un minuto lo más que aguante durante media hora hacer algo de movimiento con mi cuerpo aunque no quiera yo hago lo que tengo que hacer cuando lo tengo que hacer aunque no lo quiera hacer yo hago lo que tengo que hacer cuando lo tengo que hacer aunque no lo quiera hacer eso se llama disciplina ok el término de la disciplina y repetítelo repetítelo ok convencete de eso y vas a llegar a mucho entonces cuando no quieras venir a clase acordate ¿sí? Ok, ¿querés hacer la tarea? ¿Cuál tarea? Sí. Vale. Uh, ¿Sentís que aún te falta vocabulario? Te voy a enviar unos, eh, no sé si ya los tienes, pero unos listados de verbos. Ok. Te voy a enviar tres listados de verbos y un libro que te va a servir de aquí hasta que termines la carrera, que es sobre la carrera. I'm sorry. On the WhatsApp group. Muy bien. Gracias, Mario José. Vaya, entonces te voy a enviar el listado de verbos y el librito de modales. Es un PDF de modales. Men, ahí están todos los modales, cómo utilizarlos. No está dentro de este, de, este, de este módulo, pero te va a ayudar. Igual, ¿quieres hablar rápido? ¿Quieres salir de esto bien? ¿Ok? No diciéndome, si te digo, ¿Are you okay? Y que me digas, if, teacher, if. Sí, ¿verdad? No. Si lo captaron, bien. Si no, estamos mal. <ríe> If significa sí, ¿verdad? Pero sí de condicionante. Tenía un alumno en avanzado 6. Lamentable. Lamentablemente ya los agarré en ese avanzado. Sí, le decía, ¿Are you okay? If, teacher, if. ¿Entendió? Are you, ¿Did you get it? If, teacher. Yeah, yes, yes, please. Ok, ok. If teacher. 
Ah, ok, no. <ríe> so, let's move. Bien, entonces, todo lo que hagas en pro de aprender inglés, por pequeño que te parezca, a diario, te va a acercar más a más, más y más. Por ahí, por ahí decían, música, perdón si me escuchan cantar cuando alguien dice alguna palabra o frase, pero mi mente está seteada a tanta música porque así aprendí. A los siete años mi tío me regaló un diccionario océano de aquellos chiquitos que daban antes. ¿Y por qué? Yo le dije, ¿qué es eso? Estaba escuchando a Frank Sinatra. Y le dije, ¿qué es eso? Ah, es Sinatra. Me. O sea, ¿pero qué está diciendo? Ah, es inglés, me dijo y me sacó el oh. Ok, yo, eh, ¿y qué hago con eso? Pues traducí, ahí está, busca la, la letra y, y la, la vas traduciendo. Empezaba el internet, no le dijo a un sordo. Empecé a traducir. Natalie Cole, Nat King Cole, Elvis, Frank Sinatra, Aaron Smith, a la par llevaba Nirvana, Pearl Jam, o sea, y todo se fue llenando de música, de Air Play, de Oh My God. No sé, entonces cuando alguien menciona una frase en la clase es como, ya, yeah. so, sorry por eso. Eh, ¿Se puede aprender con música? Pre estoy evacuando preguntas que como adultos tenemos porque el 90% de los adultos trabajan así. Tienes muchas dudas en tu cabeza, pero no sos capaz de soltarlas porque te dijeron cuando estabas pequeño, no. Usted cállese y escuche. Y si te caso y llegaste adulto y no me van, me van a achicar si digo algo. Y si no sabes que todos están pensando lo mismo. Entonces, ¿sirve la música para aprender? Sí, pero no te va a dar pronunciación. No mucha. Vas a encontrar mucho vocabulario. Sí. Agarra una canción a la semana. Primer día, no abrís la boca. Vas leyendo la letra. Mientras escuchas, tu cerebro está seteado para el español y las letras del inglés son las mismas del español, ¿sí o no? ¿Sí, sí? ¿Sí? Ok. Entonces, vamos a cambiarle el chip. Ya no vas a abrir la boca por dos días, solo lees la letra. No cantes ni con la mente, va a ser difícil. Ok. Tercer día, empezás a articular lo que dice el cantante. Ok. You know our love was meant to be the, like the kind of love that lasts forever. And I want you here with me. Ok. ¿Ya? Yeah. Y ahí vas. Dos días más. Quinto día empezás a cantar. You're the meaning of my life. You're the inspiration. Right? Y ahí vas. Séptimo día. Prohibido traducir. Prohibido traducir. Hasta que ya te la aprendiste. Y te sale bien. Con gallos y todo. Pero te aprendiste la letra que es el punto la traducís. Te vas a decepcionar de algunas letras, pero yo así lo ocupé. Igual, ya le, ya le voy a enviar un, un link de una aplicación que te va a volver loco y es muy adictiva, que solo funciona con, con letras de canciones y tiene una gran biblioteca, se llama lyricstraining.com. So, that's really good. Good, let's go with the grammar. Creo que eso es como lo más que se me viene a la mente ahorita de los adultos, como preguntas muy frecuentes dentro de este módulo el primer día. So, About the grammar, we typically start the class with uh, the first step, but today's topic is paired conjunctions, okay? Uh, he, okay. So, what are paired conjunctions? It's very simple. It's just two connectors together. So, let's read this. Uh, let's start with Jorge. Jorge likes to talk and speak. So. Jorge, would you please? Look at the example in the box, then complete the exercise below. Per conjunction comes nope. in pairs. Thank you. Repeat, conjunctions. Conjunctions. Conjunct. Conjunctions. Juk, juk. Conjunct. Uh, not juk, juk. Conjunction. Conjunction. There you go. Conjunctions. Per conjunctions. Conjunction. Jorge, come on. Per conjunctions. Per conjunction. Sí. Con Ahora pers. pluralicémoslo. Conjunctions. Per conjunctions. Very good. Okay. Per conjunctions come in pairs such as Manuel Antonio. Usos con el micrófono. <laughs> 
charity. Uh, such as not, not only, but also and both. And like the <laughs> Let's say both. 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 Mm -hmm. Both. Más suave. Both. Both. Better. Okay. Both and. Okay. Continue. Like fanboys. Like the fanboys. For and not but or yet so. Pair conjunctions are used to connect two clauses, phrases or words. Okay. Thank you. Great job, Marilena. They get their name from the from the fact that they always work, uh, but parts of the pair have to be used in different mm. ways. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Repeat used. Used. Perfect. Okay. Both parts of the pair have to be used. Repeat. Have to use. Repeat. But parts mm -hmm. of the pair have to be used. Better. Thank you. Continue, Susana Beatriz. Mm. They they get their name okay. from here, here, indifferent. Um, uh, but in different place in sentences for them to make sense. Good. Okay, continue, Beatriz. Used not only, but also in formal context to add okay, more context. <laughs> context. Uh huh. There's an S. This is a difficult word, guys. Informal contexts, contexts, contexts. And the caso que van cobrando el bus, señores. Uh -huh. Contexts. There you go. Okay, continue. Carlos Palomo. To, to add more information as connect two elements in a sentence. As you connect two elements in a sentence. For example, Carlos? Yeah. Okay. For example, not, not only did he get a scholarship, but also he got a sponsorship to finish his studies. Okay. Are the opportunity. Vamos a atacar eso. Yo le dije a mi esposo una vez, no me mires la boca. Yo iba manejando y me iba viendo ella y le digo, no me mires la boca. Quiero que escuches y me digas si escuchas una P o una T al final de lo que te diga. Y empecé a pronunciar palabras que terminaban en P o T. Ok. Scholarship. Scholarship. Otra vez, Carlos, scholarship. Scholarship. Ahí vamos llegando. Acuérdate del burro. Ya merito, llegamos. Scholarship. Vamos, vamos. Scholarship. Ahí está. Ahora no digas chip, sino ship. Oh. Scholarship. Ship. Ahí vas. Okay. Not only did he get a scholarship, but also he got sponsor. Ship. Oh, close. Ship. Sponsorship. Better. Okay. Estabas pronunciando como T la P, ajá. Huh? Very good. Oh, okay. Super good. To finish his studies. Ojo. Hay una cosa más. Perdón, chicos, pero yo soy stubborn. I'm stubborn. Necio, terco. No me muevo hasta corregir una área de oportunidad. Espero que dicen que eso es algo bueno. A veces molesto un poco, pero créanme. Si no es así, no nos vamos a mover y vamos a ir corrigiendo eso. Ok. Cuando hay dos veces juntas y no se los han dicho, ¿cómo pronuncio esto? Wendy Maribel. Sponsorship to finish. Sorry. How do you read this? To finish. Finish his study. Very good. So yes, don't make a pause. Don't say his studies. No, to finish his studies. His studies. His studies. Okay. His studies. Very good. Great job. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Continue, Wendy. The company offers 
not only training sessions, session. but also a men mentorship program. Mentorship program. Very good. Mentorship program. Mentorship program. Mentor mentorship program. Good. Quiero que entiendan todos. A ver, cuando tu boca termina de cierta manera y la siguiente palabra continúa con esa forma, con esa misma consonante, es lógico que mantengas la posición de los labios. ¿Ok? Y por eso les decía que es importante tener encendida la cámara para que veas la trompeta de tu compañero. En mi caso, ¿verdad? Esta trompeta fea que ven acá. Lo siento, van a tener que fijarse mucho, ¿ok? En eso. Si quieren corregir la pronunciación súper rápido. Ok. Solo esta sesión voy a hablar español. Para que dejar claro estas cosas. Mentorship program. Mentorship program. No voy a hacer una pausa. Mentorship program. Mentorship program. Mentorship program. One more. One more thing. You don't Mentor say. Uh -huh. Mentorship Wendy? Cool. Mentorship program. You got it. Totally. Okay. You don't say not only, not only, but also. Uh -uh. Listen, listen. Not only, not only, not only, not only, not only, not only, not only. Not only. Next, but, but also, but also, but also, but also, there you go. Not only did he get a scholarship, but also he got a sponsor, a sponsorship to finish his studies. He got a sponsorship. He got a, he got a sponsorship. He got a sponsorship to finish his studies. Number two, the company offered not only training sessions, but also a mentorship program. The company offered not only training sessions, but also a mentorship program. Good. So mind this. Ojo, mind this. Así se, así se dice ojo en inglés. Mind this. Me lo enseñó mind Denzel this. Washington. Denzel Washington me lo enseñó. Mind this. You have not only, then you have the main clause. Not only. Uh -huh. Then not you have. Only. Keep an eye on this. Mind this. You have a comma before, okay, before the joint conjunction, but also. And but these, also. these are paired conjunctions because they come in pairs. Okay? Not, not is a conjunction. Only is a conjunction. Then you have a sentence. So, for example, not only I got married 15 years ago, but also I got three babies. I got three kids. Okay. For example, um, now the second option is having the clause at the beginning. Okay. Um, the people at the stadium not only enjoyed the concert, but also ate snacks the whole concert. Simple. Okay, now really quick. Mario Jose, can you translate the first sentence really quick? Don't think twice, don't think twice. One, two, three, go. Translate. Él no solo obtuvo a uh, uh, scholarship. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't remember uh, how to say a scholarship. Uh, beca. A beca. Okay, beca. Thank you. Uh -huh. uh, él no solo tuvo la beca, uh, pero también obtuvo el sponsorship. Patrocinio. 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 El Ajá. patrocinio para finalizar sus estudios. Excellent. There you go. This is pushing, guys. Y lo voy a estar presionando. I'm so sorry. This is pushing. I'm going to push you so you can come and talk, talk, talk. Okay. Good job. Scholarship. Sponsorship. Two different things. And letter B. Let's go with Susana Beatriz. Are you there? What well, I see you. Si no lo veo en la cámara, señora, lo voy a elegir. Usos. <laughs> 
Susanam, dun, 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 Susanam, Susanam, translate letter B, go. No me funciona el micrófono, no dice. Hoy resulta. How do you say hoy resulta in English? And teacher, sorry teacher, <laughs> I, I, I working. <laughs> oh, you're working, okay, don't worry, don't worry. Let me choose the Anne Elizabeth. Everybody else, how do you say or result in English? Diana, go. La compañía ofreció no solamente sesiones de capacitación, sino que también un programa de tutorías. Excellent. Woo! Excellent. Okay, everybody, how do you say that? How do you say or resulta? Resulta. As a result. <laughs> no, it's an expression. Okay, let me tell you. Turns out. Ah, turns out. <laughs> it's like, ah, turns really? out. Really? Come on. Now turns out. Now turns out. Oh, just turns out. Yeah, right. Okay, next. So questions, questions with these examples? They're very similar, okay? Now, if you notice that we are connecting a negative, okay? It sounds like negative, not only, not only this happened, but also this happened. Did you notice that this is in past and this is in past as well? Okay. And the same thing happened here. This is in past. And this continues the idea. Okay. You are still speaking in past. Can you do this in future? Yes, you can do it in future. Can somebody give me an example in future? Okay, super rápido. Vamos a ver. Manuel Antonio. O todos, todos. No solo voy a ir a Roma, sino también te traeré un regalo. Vamos a ver qué se saca ahí. No solo voy a ir a Roma, sino también te voy a traer un regalo. Ya se equivocaron. No solo voy a ir a Roma. No only. Sino, no además, only. te voy a traer un regalo. ¿Ah? Oh. Casi, casi, Jorge. Diana, stop using the translator. <laughs> Just uh, not only I'm going to Roma. Uh -huh. Not only I'm going to Roma, very good. Oh, wait, not only I'm I going will... to go, not only I'm going to go to Roma, uh -huh. to Roma. But also Ooh. I will bring you a gift. You got it. You got it. You got it. Not only I'm going to go to Rome, but also I'm, I will bring you a gift. I will bring you a gift. Very good. Okay. Somebody, one more example. This is just the introduction to this topic. Nelson, what's going on? Give me an example. Uh, an example uh, for... Not only, but also. Okay. Um... Uh, maybe... Um, I'm not only drive my car to the to the supermarket today, but also I have a crash. So. Okay, let's move it to past. Not only I drove my I drove car mm -hmm. to the supermarket, but also I crashed or I have an accident. Also. You know what? After 20 years of driving, for the first time I had a crash today i had a car accident and i hit i hit the guy on the, on the bumper on the rear bumper 
I had to pay $30 right there, but I was like, oh my God, it was just one mm -hmm. second. I didn't see him for one second. Oh God, that happens. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, good job. Good job. So don't, don't forget, you, you either start with not only and then you continue with the sentence, Okay, then you add the next um, pair conjunction and the second sentence. Okay, it's very similar. Now, in this case, they're, they're, they, they forgot to mention that you need a subject here. Hmm? And then a noun phrase, which is basically this. A noun phrase, remember, is something, a phrase, uh, that, that contains a noun being um, classified or qualified, qualified by an adjective as we did before. Okay. Oops. It's 10 o'clock right now. Bien. Espero que esta sesión introductoria haya sido desbordado. Mañana les espero a la misma hora. Ya full inglés, por favor. Si tienen alguna duda, inquietud, pregunta... Recuerdenme de los listados si no se los he enviado antes de la medianoche. Pongan en silencio el grupo de WhatsApp, por favor, para que no les esté molestando. Ok. Y es puro topic ahí de English. Don't speak in Spanish on the chat. Ok. Try to do it. Try your best. And if you have any questions, just text me. I'm going to do the attendance one last time and you can say goodbye. Ok. And good night. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Good, Good. Carlos, eh, podrías quedarte 10 minutos, would you? Okay, yes. thank you. Today is the first session. Claudia María Meléndez Santos. No, okay. Cristina Nat Natalie Erazo Rogel. Cristian, no. Diana Elizabeth Coreguino Martínez. Yes. Coreguino. Chereguino, ok, Chereguino, Chereguino, I gotta remember. Diego Armando López Rivas. I'm here. Excellent, good night. Diego Armando López Rivas. Ya, yeah. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present and good night. Good night, Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Manuel Antonio Palma. Good night, teacher. Good night. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. <laughs> Present. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Mario Jose Valle Castaneda. Here, good night. Good night. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Present. Excellent. Good night. Good night. Norma Carolina Villeda Avalos. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Present. Excellent. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present teacher. Thank Good you. Night. Good night. Blessings. Blessings. Take care. Okay. Let me see. Mr. Palomo. Hey, hold on one second, please. There you go. Okay, so Carlos, let's keep it in English. What has been your experience with English? I always like to start the first, the first time, the first session with two, two basic questions. Uh, the first one, what has been your experience with English alone all these years? You know, um, how long have you tried to learn? And what are you doing other than the class? I mean, the two hours class, what else do you do? Okay, well, the, the first question, um, I just studied English um, a long time ago. Maybe I started to, I started to, to learn English about five years ago, but I didn't finish. Uh, because um, the when the, the place when I was working uh, it was uh, well I didn't have time so much time and I decided uh, I decided to stop the 
to learn. Um, but now uh, I had I have more more time, and I and I want and I want to 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 return to the classes. Um, but um, well, I as I as I as I told you, I studied for maybe one years and a half, but uh, five years ago. Um, in uh, let me see in my in my job just i i use uh, programs in english but just for just read um that's the first question i think uh, the second um uh one once month ago i i have been i have been watching some videos in english and I have been uh, reading some some text or paragraph uh, in in, in internet, uh, trying to remember the words, the rules, um, and I decided. Well, uh, I I decided at the end of the year I decided to to start. Uh, to start uh, starting learning English again this year and it's my my one of my goals for this year to to finish to finish because um, I think that is important and I don't want to I don't want to que me pase lo que me pasa eh, okay. ahí estamos, ahí estamos, ahí estamos. Cuando ya me hablas español, ahí me te voy a defender muy bien. <ríe> Decía, espera, me dijiste, no quiero que me pase lo mismo. No, I don't want to go, I don't want to go through the same. Ok, ya te lo entendí. Ya, I don't want to go through the same again. Yeah, well, I don't want to go through the same. I don't want to go through the same again. Repeat, I don't want to go through the same again. I don't want to go uh, through, through through the same the again. Same, the same again. 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 Okay. Abre la boca. Again. Again. Ahí estás. Again. 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 Okay. Okay. Let's see. I decided to stop to learn. So, a mejor, I decided to stop learning. I decided okay. to stop learning. Stop learning. Acuérdate que stop or start. Stop detiene al ING. Quiero que penses en eso. El ING le da acción al verbo, ¿sí? Lo pone en movimiento. El stop lo detiene. Start okay. lo activa. Start reading. Y estos son imperativos. Los puedes ocupar como imperati imperativos con los niños. Si tenés hijos, les puedes enseñar de esta manera. Stop reading. Stop running. Stop talking. Okay. Start okay. sleeping. Start doing your homework. Start. Ya. Yeah, ING. Start ING. Stop ING. So, es muy utilizado y te va a servir para practicar. So, let's okay. see. The word return. 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 No, es una, no es una U, sino una E. Así como cuando decís ternera en inglés, turn, turn. Go ahead. Okay. Return. Better. Return. 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 Repeat. It's your turn. It's your turn. Hey, it's your turn. It's your turn. Frases comunes en inglés. Hey, your turn. Ni, your siquiera, turn. Dicen el, ni siquiera dicen el it's, sino que hey, uh -huh. en contexto. Estás en una línea... Y le toca a la persona que está hablando a la parte tuya. Hey, your turn. Your Excuse turn. me. Excuse me, your turn. Your turn. ¿Ves? Okay. Muy útil. Ok. Once months ago. Eh, a month ago. A month ago. A month ago. Very good. A month, a, a month, a month ago. A month ago. Man, a month ago. A month ago. I was like. Uh, yeah. You see? A month ago. A year ago. A month ago. A month ago. Okay. In internet. On the internet. On, in, on the internet. Super fácil. In se ocupa para dentro de. Entonces, en ese contexto, si sí, lo que voy a decir es que escribí 
en el internet sería on the internet, cosas electrónicas, on the computer, on the TV, on the phone. I'm on the phone. Okay. I'm in the phone. No, I'm on the phone. Entonces, uh -huh. I'm in the phone era cuando habían cabinas y te metías. Uh -huh. Ya, ese contexto, así míralo. On the phone, I'm on the phone. Uh -huh. I'm on a conference. Ok, I'm on a conference uh -huh. right now. On a conference, ok. I'm in the meeting, I'm in the bus, I'm in the bank. Ahí sí, bien explícito, ya estás adentro, no puedes hablar por teléfono. I'm in the bank. ¿Eh? Okay. Si le decís a alguien, I'm at the bank, va a entender que estás afuera del banco, así cerca del banco. ¿Yeah? Uh, I'm, in, I'm in the bank, I'm in the bank. Yeah. Okay. I'm inside the bank. Ok. Um, la palabra o el artículo the se ocupa como the también. Súper fácil. The antes de consonantes, the antes de vocales. Primera regla. The people. The sound. The apple. The... I don't know. <laughs> the airplane. The airplane. The end. The end. Ahí eso decías tú. At the end. In the end. In the end. Uh -huh. In the end. Oh, no. En este caso sí es. At the end of the year. At the end of the year. Está hablando del final del año. Entonces, the o oh, the. Eso puedes agregar un poco más. Y lo okay. último. I don't want. Oh, de lo que decía, ¿verdad? I don't want to go through the same again. I don't want to go. 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 Sí, bien chivo, y es muy útil, es muy útil, te va a hacer sonar mucho más nativo este de ro, 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 ro. ya, le, 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 le. practica eso, ro, 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 ro. Le, 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 le. y abrí un poco más la boca, ya estás con eso, ok, okay. cualquier onda, escribime, eh, consejos que necesites, ideas, no sé, cómo mejorar la pronunciación, igual ahorita le puedes compartir un par de cosas, ok, ok, my pleasure, hope you have a wonderful evening, take care, good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night.